Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, Eddie Wilson again from Valley Sports U. Going to do a video analysis for a new student. Um, if you look here, we have our, our student on the right hand side and uh, Major League catcher Joe Mauro on the left. Now, uh, we're going to point out some pretty common flaws. And if you guys are looking to develop your swing, then uh, come on in for a free lesson and we can compare you to a Major League hitter also. See uh, how close you can get to that. So. Um, the first thing we're going to identify is uh, in the batting stands are going to be the proper hand position um, uh, in the stands and the load. Uh, first thing we'll look at is Joe Maurer. Um, he has his hands pulled in uh, tight enough to where he's not going to leak out away from his body. But as you see in the load, I'll we'll back that up a little bit. In the load, his hands are going to drive back and the knob of the bat is going to be facing the catcher. You guys can look right here. All right, knob of the bat facing the catcher at an angle. Nope, oh, wrong one. Yeah, let's go here. All right, facing the catcher, and his hands are slightly above his elbow. All right, so that's going to be a proper uh, load position because when it's time to swing, you're going to want your hands to drive straight through the ball. Um, and we'll go in this direction here and a downward motion, okay? We don't want to drop them too early, okay? Now our student, let's clear, well, let's just go to the other side. Our student's hands, as, as you can see, are, are, are above the, the elbow. Let's clear that. All right, but once we start, they stay above, all right? And that's gonna be a problem, because what's gonna happen as soon as the swing starts, he's gonna get into a chopping motion where his hands are gonna go straight down instead of at an angle, as we see here with Joe Mauer, okay? And also, if you look at the knob of the bat, that knob is facing toward the umpire, which is not what we want, okay? It should be facing downward at an angle toward the, um, uh, toward the catcher so that way we can drive straight through the ball, okay? And you guys will see how that works uh, during the next progression, all right? So let's clear all that. So that's the first thing. Uh, it's gonna be the hands. Uh, the next part in the load will be his hips being closed, all right? As you can see, let's go here with Joe Maurer. When his front foot lands, his toes are still pointed toward the other batter's box, which is where we want to be. And our student, when his front foot lands, it's already open, as you can see, okay? And when that front foot opens, it's going to open your hips also, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to take all your power and momentum going toward third base. We need to keep it closed as long as we can, all right? As you can see, everything is driven back this way, okay? So that's what we want to do. We want, we want to make sure that our hip is still closed before, before contact. doesn't mean that you're going to show your back toward the pitcher. We don't want to see any numbers, but you're just going to keep that hip tucked in nice and tight. You can also see a shoulder tucked in. Um, nice and tight, all right? So this is a proper low position. Um, also, as you can see, a professional hitter keeps his weight on the inside part of his leg, on the back, here, all right? That's a nice athletic position. And our student, he's kind of standing upright and his weight's gonna start spilling over the wrong part, over the wrong side. So that's gonna cause a problem as far as getting your hips going into your swing. And uh, we'll, we'll look at that next. All right. so. The next part of the swing is going to be our hip rotation. Look at our professional hitter. Everything moves together. That bat's going at an angle. Let's clear that. All right. Head stays still. Strong hitting position. All right. As you can see, his front elbow is going to work down first and then start rotating upward. All right. This is where we want to be at a strong position. Once this elbow works up, that's going to make our bat head get into the proper hitting position, all right, on the same plane. All right, boom. Now, our uh, beginning hitter, first movement, there. That elbow's not working up yet. And what, what, what's going to happen is if that elbow locks out too early, your bat's going to gonna go uh, at, a, uh, at an angle straight toward the, the bottom of the, or the top part of the ball. You're going to get a lot of uh, ground balls or pop-ups, as you can see, the bat work straight down, all right? We don't want to do that. Sometimes you hear coaches tell you to chop down on the ball. That is not the case. You do not want to chop down on the ball, okay? If you need to learn the correct way to do that, 
Uh, just stop on it. But um, look at our amateur hitter here. Look at his hands. Okay, pay attention right here to his hands. Straight down. No good, no good, okay? Which we'll fix. That's not a, that's a fixable, fixable problem. Um, a professional hitter. There we go. Okay, we're rotating straight toward the ball. Okay. Um, let's go with the next part, which is going to be his front arm locking in. You know we don't want to lock that arm in too early. All right, it's not time for that yet. As you look at a professional hitter, when contact's made with the ball, he's still in a strong position. Arms are still bent. Once you make contact, then you're going to finish through the ball. All right, so this is the point where those arms need to lock out after contact. And our hitter here has, has already locked his arms out right there. Okay, and we haven't made contact yet, so it's not time for that yet. And that's going to create a long swing. Okay, long swing. Um, also, you want to notice how our professional hitter sits down in his stance. Um, he's nice and heavy, you know, staying low to the ground. Where our uh, other hitter here on the side, if you can see his front foot right there, it's lifted up. Okay, taking a lot of power away. We don't want to jump up when we swing. As you can see, body down and then we pop straight up. All right, we don't want that. Okay, and the last part, well, um, well, you know what? I think that's it. I mean, the only other part that you guys got to uh, focus on with, with this is the finish. He does do a pretty good job of working up our, our uh, VSU student right here, but we got to get it uh, in, in a more natural position. Okay, we don't swing down and then go up. All right, we want to rotate and stay behind that axis to so where we work down here and then we drive through the ball. And as you can see, the ball that was a bomb. Okay, so. That concludes uh, this video analysis. If you guys want more information, please visit us online, www.valleysportsu.com or vsunation.com, or just stop by and give us a call, 956-467-5917, or text us at 956-322-1322. Uh, other than that, take care. God bless.